Peggy from New Hampshire asks, how is the Trans-Alaska pipeline different from the Keystone XL pipeline? They are different pipelines, that's a great question. Uh, the Trans-Alaska pipeline was built in the 1980s in response to two oil embargoes that the United States suffered that really drove up prices for consumers. Uh, following those embargoes, Congress got together and decided we need to permit this project now. Um, and since then, we've moved billions of barrels of Alaskan oil to lower 48 consumers. Uh, on the other hand, the Keystone XL pipeline unfortunately has been in review for over five years with the State Department and Congress has as of yet been unable to intervene and, and permit the project. Um, we really hope that the project will be approved as soon as possible so that we can move these sources of North American energy to consumers in the lower 48 so they can benefit from this great project.